Oh, uh, don't fall off. Oh, he stayed on. No, they did not. Oh, they did. How did that not? I don't know how that didn't flip the rider. <laughs> okay, that this, this isn't going to work. Hello everyone, I'm Cryptic Fox. We're playing a brand new game today called Carried Away. This game just came out on Wednesday, October 4th. So it's uh, just come out today if you're seeing this video today. Uh, and it's a brand new game that's uh, basically, it's a little bit of a puzzle game where you're trying to build ski lifts that go up to the top of a mountain. And in some ways it reminds me a lot of uh, a lot of Poly Bridge where you're trying to build the bridge to get across the gap for the trucks to get across. But in this game, in, in game instead, you're building ski lifts to get people to the mountain. Now the developers of the game were kind enough to share a, a key with me so I could get access to the game and play around with it. I've gone through the tutorial already, but we're gonna move on and do, uh, right, just jump right into the game and start at the first mountain. Currently there are three mountains. Uh, we have the uh, the Rookie Mountains, uh, the Alps, and then Sunshine Peak. And I'm not sure whether they're planning to add in some more, but I kind of hope they do, because I've, I've had some chance to play around with this in, the, in beta testing before the game actually comes out. Uh, so, and I've had a lot of fun with it. So, I've reset the game though. We're going to go back and we're going to work on uh, Rookie Mountain first. Uh, we'll kind of power through this if we can, and then we'll move on to uh, onto the other maps and stuff. And you can kind of see how it works. But there's this neat mechanic where you, you build up items, to, or you build up your, your map to get across the level uh, using different materials. So, you can have like planks or logs. You use wheels to kind of guide the, the, the line that works for the ski lift. So, you could draw like a straight ski lift connection like that, for example. Uh, but there are obstacles you have to get past. So in the case of this one, for example, there's a sign here that's in the way that as the ski lift um, as the ski lift goes through, it's going to wind up hitting this sign and it's going to knock the people off of the uh, off off the lift. So you have to kind of build around that. So we build. Oops, man, that was that was wacky. Okay, so we're we're going to switch back to uh, to the build mode here, but. Um, in this level, we only have access to planks and the wheels, so we're just going to build a really simple little tower up here. We only really need just enough to get it... Oops, that didn't work so well. Uh, we only need just enough that we can get it past this little sign here, so we don't need anything super fancy. So I'm going to go like... Actually, if we grab in the middle of this plank, we can just stretch it up. There we go. Uh, and then we put our wheel on at the top of it. That guides the line over top, and it goes straight to the lift. And then we let it go. It just kind of tears right through. Now, this is the... This is the easy level, so we'll probably get through a bunch of these really, really fast. Um, and then the cool thing, too, is that you can kind of go into, like, 3D mode and go right around your creation as it goes through. There are more difficult levels. Uh, this one had an objective of building something that was less than less than $1,000, or a 1,000 pounds, I guess. Um, you want to get three skiers across, get it there without killing any riders, so you don't want them to hit the sign and fall off. Uh, and then... Um, What's the other one? Complete the level without any breakages. So don't have the lines or, or the, the structure or anything break. Because you can finish a level and, and not and end up breaking something, but still get through the level. So that's kind of how that works. Okay, we're at level two. And as we work through this, it's going to get progressively more difficult. These ones are ultimately very simple. But uh, there's also these, these blue stars we have to catch, which means that we have to build a structure that's going to ultimately intercept with those, which is good. So now this one... This one, you could almost just take the line directly between them, but then you wouldn't get this uh, this blue star here. So we're gonna wanna raise a structure over here that's gonna allow us to uh, to get that star. Now, triangles are supposed to be strong in this game. So we'll try building something like this, maybe. We'll throw our little wheel on the top, stretch our line over top of it, and that should let the lift go right through. Now, this may not actually be strong enough. We might get enough strain on here that it'll, it'll end up breaking the, the support beam. We're running like oh, right around 70%. It's awfully close. Oh, no, they're hitting right here. Oh, no. Look at the slack on that line. That is crazy. Oh, face first into the snow. Sorry, buddy. All right, so that, that one obviously isn't going to work. We're going to need to do a little bit more building here, which, you know, makes sense since they, they've clearly, clearly set this thing up with anchor points, specifically so you'll build a little bit more. So let's try and, and build it up this way, maybe. Let's see if we can get... No, what's going on here? I want to I want to click in the middle. Oh, there we go. Uh, nope, nope. That's that's not gonna do it. <laughs> I want to grab right in the middle and stretch it up, but that's not gonna work. So we'll just have to go this way, I guess. Um, we'll throw a wheel on here, and then we'll have to restretch our line around the wheel. The cool thing is, like, it's got the physics where you can like wind it around stuff. They have like ho like rope physics in this game, which is really cool, actually. Okay, so this structure is not 
not very strong. I have a feeling one or the other of these are going to break. We're really hitting those tolerance levels. Oh, like in the, right in the 90s. So the, the objective here, too, is you can get on the leaderboard by spending the least amount of money. Oh, there we go. It broke. <laughs> we got two people through, but that wouldn't count. So this is not going to work. Let's try adding maybe just a little bit more structural stability in here. Let's see if that makes a difference. It should help help distribute the forces a little bit across this bottom part. But this bottom one is still... Oh, it's going red already. It's not going to make it. I think it's going to be toast. Yeah, it's done. Okay, so we can't build it that way. Add another cross support beam, see if that helps. Uh, still getting really close. So, uh, there it goes. It seems to be breaking even faster now, even though I've built something new on there. So let's, let's redesign the way this lift working, because clearly that layout just isn't going to do it for us. Let's maybe try to go a little bit, a little bit out this way instead. I'm going to try and distribute everything across this way. And then add a little extra support here, like so. And that might help kind of help stabilize everything. Now, I have a feeling this board down here is going to be the one that's the weak point. But if we put the wheel towards the back of this to help guide it, then it might help apply the force more to the rear part of the structure, and this will give extra support. But we'll see. Actually, that looks pretty stable. Now the, now the concern is this is staying... This is nice and yellow, but it's staying solid yellow, so it's not... The stress isn't getting super high. This one seems to be balancing okay. There's not a lot of tension on the line, <laughs> but we got the star. It looks like we're going to get all three of the skiers up safely. Well, actually, yeah, yeah, this one we'll have to get three up there. There's skier number two. It's just got to last a little bit longer. There's an extra skier there, even. They're, they're sending more than the required amount. They're really trying to test this system out. I love that you can move around on the boards and kind of look at everything from a different angle. It's very cool. How do we do on the leaderboard there? 14th. Wow, some people built some, some really... Really simple structures to get through this one. Uh, so simple they can't even show a score. That what is going on with that person? Oh, that was weird. All right, look, they're sitting like really strange on the seat. That does that doesn't look right to me. Where is he? They're backwards. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's not supposed to happen. All right, now let's move on to another level. I'm going to get to a ski jump level if we can. Oh, there's one over here. So let's, um, Little Bridge Hill. Let's try a ski jump. Okay, so with the ski jumps, uh, you should build a bridge that you, that you don't have enough speed to jump over, uh, when you don't have enough jump, speed to jump over a gap. You can toggle the grid on and off using the G. That's fine. Okay, so here's, uh, here's a, a scenario where we've got a skier and he's got to get across this gap. There's no stars here or anything, so we're just going to build a bridge. So we use these jump pieces... To stretch out and we'll build a little bridge for him to kind of ski across. Now, the, the tricky part is that we're going to have to support this ultimately. So we get these little support beams that we can then draw out. And I don't know how long they can be, but apparently not long enough. So we could do a little structure like this. Um, we'll probably want to do a whole structure all the way across that way. So we can kind of connect it all together like so. And I think when it gives a little red point, that means it's anchored. So that should be a good enough, a good enough bridge for us. Go ski or go! All right, so he got through, no trouble at all. Uh, we definitely spent, we spent a lot. I bet you people got in there cheaper. Yeah, 18th. So I'm not really focused necessarily on hitting the lowest amount right now. But let's go. Now this is a different kind of a lift. This one, it's a drag. So this one's a drag lift. Um, great for covering short distances without too many obstacles in the way. Skiers will let go if they're lifted off the ground. Make sure their skis are touching the snow at all times. So in this scenario, we want to keep we want to keep the skier on the ground this time. So we're going to use. Oh, we have access to supports, and we have planks. So I could do a plank scenario like this. Throw a little wheel on it, and then try stretching the line underneath and up. I think this this may not be good enough though. I may need to make that. There we go. So that'll let them keep their skis on the ground the whole time. I think. <laughs> I'm looking at them pulling on the line. It is a little tricky working the camera in this, but so he got the star easy enough, and he'll make it up the hill. Okay, so that that worked out perfectly fine. 
Minimal cost there, 209 we spent on it. I probably could have gone even cheaper, I think, maybe. But at least it didn't break. Oh, yeah, clearly we could have gone cheaper, because people did. Wow, 15th. $209 in them and 15th, and this game's not even open to the public yet. Okay, so there are a number of other lifts here that we haven't tried just yet. So let's um, let's go back and do, uh, we'll do Green Run. Let's see what this one's like. Okay, so this one, again, a little bit trickier. We've got a star that's up a little bit higher. We got, And we have to clear this tree that's here as well. Uh, we do have access to jumps and supports this time. That's interesting. I wonder if we could get them to, like, ski down a slope at the end. I don't, I don't think we'll try to go to that extent. But uh, if, we, uh, if we build up here... Uh, I don't know that we can make this strong enough, but we'll find out. Okay, so there's a... Should be a relatively decent base there, I think. I'm gonna try and dig this out. Okay, so if we get it up like so... We'll see how well, how well this will hold out. I don't know that this is gonna be strong enough. I have a feeling with this kind of a tall, thin tower, it's gonna end up breaking on me. Uh, but we'll throw a couple wheels up here. Try our stretching our line over top of it. I mean, that should be good enough for them to hit the star, but I think it's going to break the sides of the tower on me. Oh, yeah, that just snapped super easy. Okay, so we need to spread the force out a little bit. And I guess that's where this comes in. Try and stretch this up. And we'll just structurally support this a little bit more on this side. Oh, boy, that's still under a lot of strain. <laughs> you can see it wiggling. Okay, so clearly that wasn't going to work. Um... Okay, we spent a lot of money now. 1800 Our objective is to spend... Oh, actually, there's no spend limit on this one. But that didn't work at all. That was awful. Okay, I don't I don't think I like this whole setup at all. Um, okay, we'll stretch this out into the middle, and we'll use that as a support structure here. And I kind of want to... I kind of want to set this one up so that we've got the wheels separated a little bit. But it has to go up high enough that we can hit the star up there because I want to hit as many of these objectives as I can. You don't necessarily have to get the star to get through the level. 2,000. Man, I feel like I'm spending a lot on this one. Um, and that's probably still not enough to get that star. If we go like this, then I, th I think that will give us what we need. Stretch this over top. Ugh. That's a lot of strain there. I, I could make that even a lot simpler stress-wise just by going that way. That's a really ugly setup, but it is enough to get the job done, I think. We spent a lot of money on it, though. Guaranteed people did this for a lot cheaper. Stress tolerance is getting... The stress force is getting really high, though. It's hitting 90s. It might actually break before we get all the skiers through this thing. That'll get us to completion without any breakages, even though that's one horrible-looking structure. Now, guaranteed, I went... Oh, yeah, 36. I'm way high on the price point on this one. I'm in the top 77%. That's not That's not really, that's not really reassuring. <laughs> I guess I should try to manage my costs a little bit better. A uh, little bit of we already did. Let's do Alpine Express. Okay, a little, again, a little bit bigger this time. Now we have to try to get the star that's in the middle here that's above this rock, and we have to get over top of two trees in order to get over to this point. Ooh, we have logs this time. Okay, so the logs will come in handy for sure. If I could get them to reach. And uh, that didn't work at all. Hold on. That's not working. Let's stretch it out this way. How level can I make? Okay, so it looks like that's about as far over as I can get things. How high can I get it? So if I have the wheel here, there's no way it's going to clear that tree. So that's obviously not going to work. So let's try and set this one down low. And see if I can just do like a simple... A simple log structure for this end. And then I'm going to try to go a little bit cheaper on the other end. And we'll try and use... Oh gosh, this is uh, similarly not going to reach... So we'll try and use a, a little bit more of a, of a wood plank structure on this end. To hold everything together. No, that's not going to work either. My goodness. Uh, 
I can see, like, as you get to higher levels and stuff in this game, it, it getting really challenging. Probably doesn't help that I'm a super sloppy builder. <laughs> None of this is working for me. Okay, hold on. Let's get rid of all this stuff. Uh, and we'll try logs over here, too. So we'll go... If we go like this... Let me get that vertical. We'll do a log over here. And that'll give you a, a solid base that I can build on. And then from there, I can go like this. And we'll build with just regular planks. Now, we're already at $3,200. That's kind of a lot of money uh, for this simple build. And we, and we still can't reach all the way across there. All right, so let's go like so. That looks like a terrible layout, but we'll see if it works. Put a wheel at the top of here. Maybe we'll put one there too, just in case. No, it's not even gonna hit that second wheel. Get rid of that. And I built it too high. How about that? So we need to make it lower in order to get that star. Okay, let's just actually get a sag in the middle, so that works out pretty well. Uh, this side here, we're getting a lot of strain on it. You can see it turns yellow as it gets the stress on it. When it gets to like red, that's when things start breaking. But our force indicator at the top is kind of holding out in a nice place, so I think I think we'll be okay. We're underneath the spend limit of five thousand, but we definitely didn't place money-wise on the leaderboard because I spent I spent quite a bit thirty-four hundred and fifty-eight dollars to get across this thing. I'm trying to speed this up a little bit. Ta-da! We're through. Okay, so how where do we place? Twenty-first. We're in the fifty-eight top fifty-eight percent. So, I mean, I know I spent a lot, but I guess I didn't spend as much as I thought I did relative to what other people were spending. Uh, okay, so we have the mound. I want to see another jump. Let's go to this one here. Eagle's Creek. Let's try another jump one. Okay, so this one here, we have to jump this gap. There's a star at the bottom end. I kind of wonder... Can the skier make it through? How, how far can the skier make it through here? Oh, that nope. Oh, <laughs> uh, that's not good for the forehead. Um, okay, so clearly he needs something. Let's give him a little ramp here. Try to give him a, give him something he can get a good a good lift on. Okay, and this is going to require some support as well. Like so, maybe. I mean, that should be good and stable. Let's let's see how this works. He's probably going to go splat at the bottom end, but this is a good way to experiment. Oh, no, he's going to go right in the gully. <laughs> I set it too high. Okay, that's no good. Uh, this needs to go lower. All right, that, that might be a little bit odd, but we'll see how this, this plays out. All right, come on. Jump, buddy, jump, buddy, jump, buddy, jump. Nope, that's not what at all what I wanted to do. Jump, 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 jump. And jump. Oh, backflip. And splat! Oh, yeah, that's no good. All right, we broke the little ramp here too, so this this is not angle of this is not quite right. Let's start this back a little bit sooner. And we'll try to get more of a gradual incline. Try to get it maybe a little bit more flat like that, and then we'll do uh, some supports under here. Uh, this obviously isn't going to support all the way down, but we can go like this. Uh, connect these two together. Connected to that, and then down to here. I don't know that that's strong enough. It's showing the strain already, and there's not even a skier on it. Okay, that gives some pretty good lift. Oh, bounce off the rock. Okay, uh, he looks a little stuck. <laughs> that didn't work so good. Tree kind of blocked the view, but he, he kind of went splat on the rock. Uh, so we're going to need to do something on the bottom end here also to give him a landing point. So maybe we can create like a little ramp here that rides right up this rock face. And gives him a spot that he can land on. Now we're gonna need supports under here also. I don't know what it needs like structurally in order for it to work. I might have to do a cross member here. And jump. Oh no! Oh, <laughs> all right, that didn't work so good. Um, maybe if we do a little bit more upturn on the end here. I think I actually shortened the ramp, but. If we can get a decent jump off the end of it. Oh no! Backflip! Oh! <laughs> Face plant! Okay, that, that didn't work at all. Uh, let's move this over. We'll add a support beam here. Uh, we'll probably need a support here. And will this reach all the way? No, it won't. 
Okay, so that, that, that one's not gonna work. Let's try uh, extending this out a little bit again. Let's see how this goes. Oh, look at the strain on it. It's not even, doesn't even have, not even supporting a skier yet. Oh, it broke. Oh, everything broke. Okay, that's that's not gonna work. Okay, I need to redesign this whole thing. Okay, I have a new bridge design here. Or new jump design, I guess. Let's get him out over the gap a little bit more. We got the star, but that, that face plant is, is not, not gonna do what we need it to do. <laughs> Uh, over here, I don't know that I can even draw supports on this thing because this rock is in the way. I guess we can. Okay, so that's supported now that way. I spent uh, 592. We have to be under 600, so I'm actually pretty close to that maximum amount. So we're definitely not going to win any awards for conservation of spending on this one. Oh, flip! Oh, we missed. <laughs> now we're getting too much lift. I might even be able to not, like, what if I don't make him jump? What happens if I just let him sail off it? Oh, that worked perfectly, except it broke. So, we didn't get all the metals we could have gotten, and we ended up spending, uh, we were definitely were not not in the in that bottom portion. We didn't hit all the, all the awards on this one. Uh, but I'm going to skip over this one for now. I'm going to come back and do that one a little bit better another time. Uh, what else have we got left on here? So, we've got the mound, which is another ski lift. I guess we can grab that one. Okay, another one we have to collect a star on, and we've got access to logs and wood. No ropes or anything on this one yet, so let's try maybe start off with wood. I'd like to avoid I'd like to avoid using too many logs if we can. Oh, that's not gonna, not gonna stretch all the way across there. Try supporting it that way. And then nope, that's not gonna work. Okay, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to tilt this in just a little bit. Like so. No, that can't that can't stretch all the way across, so I can't get support that way either. I have a feeling this is gonna be a little bit unstable. I'm gonna do like a crazy little trapezoid shape here with some upside down triangles. And we'll see what happens this way. Okay, so I have a feeling the strain is gonna be too much on this, but I'm gonna test this out anyway just to see what happens. Two, two wheels on here. And then if we stretch the cable up over top of both and then over, I have a feeling the downward drag right here is going to be too much. It's going to snap something on this side. Oh, jeez, it snapped right in the middle. Okay, so never mind that. It didn't even didn't even last as long as I thought it might. Okay, so let's try. We'll take one log and try stretching it across there and see how that does to brace it. And now I broke where I thought it was the first time. I love the physics on this thing. Okay, so that's clearly not going to work for my work for my needs. Um. We need this structure to be more supportive of this way. So if we can like connect it that way maybe and then skew this stuff maybe towards the middle. No, it's not gonna let us move it. Though this one I don't mind if it comes down a bit. So we can almost almost support it this way. I don't know how this is gonna do from a pressure standpoint. Uh, we might even be able to lower this down a little bit. There we go. So we, now we've got it cross-supported a couple of ways. And we haven't used any of the logs, which are, tend to be really expensive, so hopefully this will help. Actually, that looks much more stable already, although I am seeing the strain here. It would be nice if we could get this through. Get the, Yeah, we got the star. All it has to do is hold out long enough to get three riders to the other end of here without breaking, and we can get all the metals. And it's bouncing right close to that force indicator. Oh, no! Okay, what happened? They hit, they hit like a snowbank here and fell off. How did he... F oh, you know what? They tipped the top of the tree. <laughs> well, let's try that again. I think I got... I think that was just bad luck that time. If the skier can keep his his key tips up, then this is a pretty cheap build. We have a limit of 3,500. I spent 1,500. It'd be nice to get by this on, on the cheap side of things. If he could just get his skis up and not hit the tree... Oh, there we go. Oh, no, no, no. Oh. <laughs> Come on. Speed it up a little bit. Go, skier, go! I swear they swing around more when you speed it up. I wonder if that's actually like the speed of the lift as opposed to the speed of the like the game speed. Because they're zipping in there faster. They're oh, come on! We almost had it! Okay. Uh, we need more support in here somehow. Can I draw... No, I can't draw across that way. Oh, 
All right, one more time. Let's try one more time. If we can just get through on this. It's like it's riding right at the high end of tolerance. Oh, don't fall off. Oh, he stayed on. No, they did not. Oh, they did. How did that not? I don't know how that didn't flip the rider. <laughs> okay, that that's, this isn't going to work. Um, okay, this this definitely needs to be higher up. That Actually, that just that tiny little bit up might even be enough. And it might even out some of the stress on this. No, no, definitely did not. Okay. I kind of want to support it across th this way. But that'll mean tilting this in a bit. Let's see what that does to the strain on the machine. Okay, we're definitely still getting the star. Are we going to clear the tree? Yeah, we got by the tree. They're just barely tapping it now. So I only need to get... Oh, come on. Okay, we got two skiers through. Here's the third one. Don't fall off. Don't fall off. Just stay... No. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> All right, we got three. And even though it says complete without killing any riders, because the uh, the fourth rider was the one that fell headfirst into the ground, we're good. Our insurance policies will cover that one. I'm not too worried about that. Actually, they got me 12th place. Oh, Blitz beat me by... What is that? Nine, uh, and six. So beat me by 15 points. Drat you, Blitz. All right, so clearly that's that's not going to work. I mean, we got them through here, but the, I don't know how they managed to do that cheaper. Oh, I found an even cheaper way to build it, and I actually managed to get three skiers through here without it breaking down. So I used just straight wood, made the tower a little bit smaller, shaved off a fairly significant expense, and that got us a significantly better score. That got us all the way up into fifth place, hitting all of the requirements on this one. So... I feel a little bit better after sort of restructuring that a little bit because we didn't score very well. Uh, but we did get a, a lot better score this time. I'm going to call it a wrap for tonight. We'll come back and maybe do uh, some more of this after the game's live. Uh, so by the time you're seeing this, it probably will already been released. Um, and we'll, you know, play a little bit more of it. If you do want to get the game yourself, uh, there'll be a link in the description down below. You can purchase it on Steam. Uh, we're still on the first mountain, so the challenges aren't too intense. But as we get into the next mountain, they get significantly more challenging. Uh, so it'll be interesting to kind of dig into some of those. But in the meantime, you can kind of see how the game plays. It's a lot of fun. Uh, I do like the, the challenge of trying to come up with the solutions for it. And it's kind of funny, some of the little crashes and accidents that, and things that happen. Hopefully, they'll continue to add more to the game as it goes forward. But uh, if you do enjoy these videos, uh, certainly click on the subscribe button. You can come back and check out some more. I'm, as always, Cryptic Fox. I'll see all of you next time.